the thing is that our offensive line we know that you know everything starts up front with them. They kind of understand that, uh, so they kind of bring the energy and, and level of focus to practice because they, they know that you know without them, you know this team would really, would really struggle. And you know based on film, you can really see that you know Stanford you know, takes a lot of pride and has a lot of pride in their D line, you know, creating a lot of um, great plays. And like I said, we're hoping that we we come out on top. Yeah, definitely, it's, it's going to be a physical football game and. Uh, like I said, like Monty said, it starts off with the offensive line. And they have a great defensive line. We have a great offensive line, so it'll be a physical game. And it'll be a great battle between us two. We'll go back row on the right again. For Monty and James, I know a lot of times it's said that they hear about the team and stuff like that, but a lot of times guys want their touches. How does it work so well for you guys? Because you genuinely pull for each other, and it all works. Uh, we just play for one another. That's what our team is all about. Uh, nobody complains about getting the ball, and uh, whenever you do get the ball, you got to take advantage of your opportunities, and that's the best way to, uh, to make it work. Yeah, I think uh, what helps us out is the, the chemistry that we have. Um, just understanding that you know everyone on this team has a role, um, and just you know not caring who gets the credit, just making sure that we get the win is kind of you know our form of the year, and you know, everyone does a great job of just playing, and that's kind of how it's kind of how we work. Back row on the left. Jared, in an offense that doesn't throw the ball a heck of a lot these days, can you talk about the importance of executing and picking your spots when you do go downfield, especially against a defense like Stanford that's so opportunistic? Yeah, I mean, when, when we do throw the ball, which isn't a lot, um, you know, you got to make sure you come down with the ball um, if they, you know, decide to throw the ball to you. So, um, you just take advantage of the opportunities. Um, but, you know, we're also involved in the run game, too. So, um, we got to do our best as wide receivers to get blocking downfield um, to help create those long runs um, when they do make it, you know, when the line does give them an opportunity to get uh, get to the next level. So, um, you know, I mean, we just take advantage of every opportunity we get um, when we do get those. Jared, do you have any recollection of the last time Wisconsin and Stanford played the Rose Bowl in 2000? No, I you were probably 11 or so. <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> Nothing? No. James Monte, anything? No. I was 10. No. <laughs> did you watch college football then? <clears throat> no, really. <laughs> well, that didn't work, did it? Uh, it was Dragon Ball Z and uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot of cartoons. We just heard a, li a little bit from the other guys about the wristbands you guys have. Can you just talk about the message and what it's meant for each of you to be able to carry that into this game? Um, I mean, I'll start, I guess. It just kind of, you know, just reminds you each day um, when you wake up and see it on your wrist to make sure, um, you know, if you got a lot of free time, things like that. But um, when you come to practice, make sure that you're in and you're out. So, um, you know, not only are you going to be committed to the team, committed to this game uh, to get this W, um, but that you make sure that you give all you got um, every time you step on the field, um, and that's in practice and when you're watching film and things like that. So just kind of a reminder um, to make sure that, that, you know, he knows and the rest of the team knows that, that I'm going to do my part uh, to, do, to do my best to get this one. Yeah, kind of a little bit what he said. Is like, it kind of reminds me of this, like, we I'm a little piece to the puzzle, the entire puzzle for the entire team. Everyone is, uh, and kind of saying that I'm in, you know, with this team, with everything that we're doing, and I'm going to be on. I'm going to display my best game and, and show the team that I got one more for them. Yeah, for sure. We, we have one game left, and uh, I want everybody to give it all they have. And just stay locked in throughout this whole trip. Uh, you know, you're going to have fun, not on the practice field, but when we're out there on the practice field, just give it the best effort that you have. And, that make it very effective come game day. We'll go back row on the right. I think you guys have talked about it, but now that you've been out here, what is it like to have Barry coaching you and just the, the difference and what it's all about? So it's definitely an honor to have one of the greatest college football coaches of all time, coaches of uh, I mean, we just want to go out there and play our best and give it our best effort for him. Uh, he, he, he does a great job of, you know, he cuts practice down for us and only for Chris. So we had to go out there and be effective during practice and listen to the plan that he has for us and 
Like I said, if we just follow this prayer, we'll, we'll be just fine. Yeah, so we, well, we loved it because uh, I guess coming here, you, you, you were, they explained to you everything that he's done for this program. Uh, you, you heard about the tradition that he built and what he's done to the players who are on to the next, you know, le next level. And uh, just to finally see him in action on our sidelines is, 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 is fun. It's fun and it's great because uh, he brings so much confidence and swagger to the game. And <laughs> we enjoy seeing that. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's definitely a blessing to be able to play um, under him. Um, it's been a fun uh, you know, couple of weeks. And so, uh, you know, we've been blessed as a team to have him come back and, and coach and coach us for this role as well. On the left. The practices back in Madison leading up to this have been pretty short ones. About an hour. What are the advantages of that? Uh, definitely you keep your legs. And uh, that's one thing he wants for us, for us to be fresh on game day. He uh, doesn't want us to be able to be held back at all. So, uh, but the only way that it's going to stay that way is if we practice well and uh, practice effectively. Yeah, that just he, he he he's huge on you know, keeping you fresh, and you know, he kind of what, what he always says before practice. He wants a snappy practice. He wants us to be in and out quick, um, focused, and then get out of there, get off your legs. And I think it's going to work. Yeah, I would add to that too. Is I mean, you're also able to uh, make sure you know, if you're only going an hour, everybody's basically able to give all they got, you know, for that hour. So it's going to be a nice, crisp, crisp clean, clean practice. Um, everybody's giving their all, so it's going to be a good, good practice. Um, you know, time is going to be down with the quarterbacks for the past game. Um, you know, everybody's going to be honest, and it just that's just the way he kind of likes it. And, I mean, I, I like the way it's been. Well, on the left eye, similar to the Big Ten championship, you guys have experience now being here. Do you see that as an advantage? Yeah, I'd say definitely. Um, you know, not only for the game, but just for the, the week. I mean, we got so many events that we've, we've been to, um, so we kind of know what to expect. Um, there's a lot of fun things that you get to do um, and experience, and so being here, um, you're not really surprised, you know, with a lot. I mean, I would say that's uh, definitely a big advantage. Yeah, like, just like what Jared said, uh, so many activities, you know, pulled every dire other direction, but uh, I guess by us knowing, Know where we're going to go, which direction we're going to be pulled. It kind of still, it still kind of shows us, or kind of telling me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We still, we, we know that you know why why we're down here. The the main reason why we're down here, we kind of you know tell everybody that, and I think it's definitely going to help us out a lot. Yeah, we we know what what LA presents and uh, what the atmosphere is like when we get here. So it's not too much of a shock for us. Uh, we know how to handle our business uh, when we're off the field, when we're on the field. So. I mean, it just gives us a great level of focus um, come game day. We'll go on the left eye again. One of those activities tomorrow night, the beef bowl. Um, Travis says he's not going to try to three-peat with his title. Do you guys have any favorites that you see <laughs> for taking the crown? Uh, big Rob, Big Rob. Yeah, Big Rob. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, you know, leave nothing on the field, and uh, hopefully at the end you, you, get, you get enough for a win. 